Today, I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses expert. Let's get started. This packaging is incredible. You can see it says headliner on the front and you open it up and you're presented. It unfolds itself as a box and you're presented with the carrying case. You're watching a first person point of view experience as I unbox these Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses for the very first time and they are incredible. I can't wait to show you the detail of them and what it looks like to set this product up. So if you take a look at the carrying case here, on the very front you've got the logo where it says Ray-Ban, and then you've got this circle component here that has a circle LED light. And when you lift the carrying case up, the light comes on, and it lets you know the charging status of your glasses in the carrying case itself. When it's green, it lets you know that your glasses are fully charged and they're good to go. When it's yellow or orange, it lets you know that your glasses are currently charging. And then you lift up the case, it says Ray-Ban Meta right there, and we've got the headliner glasses right here. So these Meta glasses come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. These are the headliner editions, and they're also translucent. One of my favorite parts of these glasses is that you can see the technology inside of them. So if I get close here, you can see the speaker, you can see all the different camera components, you can see the wiring, you can see everything inside of these glasses and they make it really fun and really cool. Um, you can see the speaker right there. So these glasses are pretty high tech, they're very advanced and I can't wait to show you the details of them and how to use them and how to set them up for the very first time. So by default, your glasses will be on. They'll have a little t tape right here that you'll pull off. In the middle of the glasses is the charging connector, and you can see what that looks like. You slide the charging connector in right there, and um, I'll demo that for you. You can fold the glasses down, and when you charge your glasses, they just go in just like that, and they start charging. You get the green light for the satisfaction of it being 100% charged, and you're good to go. And then you can just take them out at any time, and that's how the charging case works. On the bottom of the charging case, you've got the USB-C right here. This charges the case. You can see that it's yellow now. It's, the case is not at 100%. And you can use your case to recharge your glasses a several, like a ton of times. If your batteries die on the glasses, you can pop them in the case and recharge them, um, juice back up to 100% over and over again until the battery dies out on the case. On the back there is this diagnostic button, but there's no need for that by uh, setting up your devices for the first time. So you can go ahead, take your glasses out. Let's take a look at what's on the glasses. And when you open them up on the arms, you've got a speaker. So one speaker here and one speaker there. It's an open air speaker. It lets you play music. It lets the Meta AI Assistant talk to you. And um, it reads out you know, your messages or um, any AI information that it spits out. You can hear directly from these two speakers right here, or you can just listen to music on them. We reviewed the charging connector that's right here. And then in the inside, we've got an, an off and on manual switch right here. So by default, it's on, but I can swipe this over to the left and you'll see now it's a red dot there and that turns off the glasses completely. So there's no power, the cameras are not on, the Meta AI is not working. In order for these glasses to function with the technology, you have to swipe this all the way on. So you just swipe it over to the right and it turns on just like that. You get an indicator light right here on the right and it pulses. The green lets you know that you're good to go. The blue lets you know that it's connecting through Bluetooth and the white is pulsing lets you know that it's working. So we get the green light just like that and we're good to go and to connect these to our phone. So that's the overall design and of course on the front we've got these two circles and that's the technology that lets you record. So right here on our left side we have um, an indicator light. When you press this button on the right component right here you can press it once to take a photo and you can hold it down to take a video. When you do that, this will light up. And when it lights up, it will pulse for video recording and it will light up once for photos. 
and that will let you know um, and also anyone that you're taking a photo of or taking a video of it will let them know because this will be pulsing for video and it will be lit up for photos so it's an indicator light right here on this left side to let anyone know that you're actively recording or taking a photo on the right side here, we have the actual camera, which is a wide angle lens. It shoots in portrait mode and it's perfect for Instagram or Facebook stories or any content, you know, that's vertical YouTube, um, YouTube shorts. So this is the ultra wide camera right here. It's perfect for capturing content and we'll see some of that content later in today. So go ahead and open up your glasses if this is your first time connecting them. Um, you'll need access to the MetaView application. And the MetaView app can be found in your App Store, whether that is on the Google Play Store or in the App Store on the iPhone. So go ahead and search for MetaView. And this is the companion application to the smart glasses. This is required for importing content. Um, and you can see what uh, it looks like right here. It's MetaView set up your smart glasses and we can learn and explore use your smart glasses hands-free use your smart glasses and keep them up to date manage your information and privacy settings review and share your meta ai transcripts and view and share photos and videos so this will also help you set up your glasses so you can import all of your photos and videos you can manage that content on your phone you can share it to social and then you can see all of your ai content so let's go ahead and open this application you'll need to download it to your phone and this is how you will set up your brand new ray-ban glasses so we'll press the open button and by default um, you'll probably have an option to set up for a brand new pair um, so i'm going to go over to the glasses section here and I'm going to scroll down um, and actually at the top right, top right is what I'm looking for, the add device. So I already have a pair of Wayfair glasses attached to this account. I'm going to go ahead and add the headliner options. So we'll go into the settings and we'll click add device. This is probably what you will be presented with on the onboarding experience. So you will not need to go into the settings and hit add device. When you first launch it, it'll let you know that you can connect your glasses and then it's going to ask you what type of glasses that you want. So the Ray-Ban Meta glasses are the second generation glasses. That's the kind that we have today. They also had a kind, a first generation kind called the Ray-Ban Stories. So it's asking you which model of glasses that you have. You want to select the Ray-Ban Meta if you just bought them and they're recent and they're new. Or if you have an older pair, you can select the Ray-Ban Stories to connect your older version of glasses. So Ray-Ban Stories is the first generation. And then Ray-Ban Meta is the second generation. So we're going to go ahead and select Ray-Ban Meta because that's what we have. And it's going to tell you to remove the tab to begin. So in the glasses, by default, there will be a tab right here that connects the power. To these, you'll want to remove that to begin. So remove the protective tab to set up your glasses properly. You'll leave the glasses inside so they can power on and charge. So let's go ahead and do that. I know the glasses are already at 100%, but it makes it easy um, to keep it at 100% while we are um, going through the setup process. So we've got the green light, we're at 100%. It'll stay in the case and be powered on and charged. We'll hit done. And now it begins to search for the glasses. So it says, make sure your glasses are turned on and placed inside the case. This is perfect for keeping the power on and keeping them charged up during the setup process. When setting up for the first time, your glasses should automatically appear in the app. This could take a minute. So here we are searching. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let this search for a minute and then when they pop up, we'll continue. Survey Junkie allows you to get paid by completing simple surveys. If you've ever wanted to make a little bit of extra money on the side, that's what Survey Junkie can help you do. They've got hundreds of surveys you can take for extra cash and it's easy to sign up. Just go to appfind.org slash surveys to get access to the best surveys to earn cash in gift cards. Sign up today at appfind.org slash surveys to get started and make sure to confirm your email address to get access to the highest earning surveys in your inbox. 
So in this case, we get an error. It says that it can't find the glasses. I'm gonna go ahead and say, yes, I've already removed the tab. Um, and it's gonna give us some other instructions. So press and hold to begin pairing. Make sure your glasses are charged, turned on, and placed in the case. Press and hold the pairing button on the back of the case for five seconds, and then release when the case pulses a, a blue LED light. So this button that we saw on the back, in case your, your glasses are not successfully being found automatically, you just press and hold this button for five seconds. We'll do that, two, three, four, five, and we'll wait and see if we get our blue light. We got our blue light, it's pulsing. Now we let go of the back button, and now it's in Bluetooth pairing mode. So we'll tap done once we see the blue blinking blue light, and now it's searching and it immediately found them that way. So now we're good to go, device is found, so we can choose our device. We can hit the connect button right here on the screen, Ray-Ban Meta, RB Meta 000X. We'll hit connect and it will go through Bluetooth to get these set up properly. So it's having a pairing request. We'll go ahead and hit pair. Um, and it will activate these glasses. They'll successfully talk to one another. And this is highly important um, when you connect your device for the very first time. So you can see it'll go through a software update. We're already updated to the latest versions. And now we're gonna go ahead and learn the basics. So it wants us to put on the glasses. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the case and put them on and go through the setup process with you. And you can see how easy that was after we set up uh, the Bluetooth connection. So it notices that the glasses are on, it plays an audio sound, it says glasses are on, and it lets us know what's next. So you can take a photo by pressing the capture button. The capture button's on the right handle arm, and uh, you just press the button, and the LED light blinks to show others that you're capturing. So I'll go ahead and press the button once and take a photo of us recording here. You can see what the studio looks like in the office with the camera. And now we've taken a photo and it wants us to start taking a video. So next up, we can press and hold the capture button right here on the top right arm to capture a video. So I'll bring this into focus here. The button's right here on the top right. We press and hold this and it will start recording a video. And when I do that, this LED indicator light on the left here will light up and then it will start recording from the camera on the right. So I'm gonna go ahead, press right, and I'm gonna press and hold right here. It makes an audio sound, it lets us know that we're recording. And the light right here is pulsing. It lets anyone know that you're recording. If they visibly see this light, that means that they're being recorded. And then the camera right here is recording. And we can see here, um, the software on our phone has updated and it says stop recording by pressing the capture button again. So all you have to do is just press and hold this button right here on the right arm one more time and it will stop recording just like that. And we're good to go and see what else is new on our glasses. So we can play music. We can tap the touchpad once. So there is a capacitive touchscreen right here that you can touch once to play music. So um, you just tap it once and it will begin playing. So as far as the speakers, these are open-ear speakers. Um, not everyone will be able to hear you, you play music. Um, if you play it up very loud and it's in a quiet environment, it we can hear, I can't play music for you because um, due to copyright reasons, but music is being played. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, it's letting us know that we can swipe the volume we can swipe up. Let me show you that really quick. Uh, let's replay the animation. So on the, the little touch bar, you can swipe up and down to adjust the volume of the music. So that touch section right here is right here on the right. It's playing music. We can turn it up by swiping up like that. And we can turn it down by swiping down to the left there. Swipe up, turns it up. Swipe left, turns it down. So really cool options that we have right here on this touch panel. This whole right side is a touch panel. And um, we can use that when we're playing music. So I'll go ahead and move on to the next one here and see what else we have. So we can pause music by tapping it once. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my face and tap it one time. And then it will pause the music. So now music is not being played and we're good to go. So those are the basics. You can see the fancy animations there on the phone. Um, so our glasses are good to go. 
we can set up some advanced features next. So let's see what else we have. So we can say, say, hey, Meta, and go hands-free. Get answers on the go, find creative inspiration, and control your glasses with your voice. So you can ask Meta, like, what's the highest peak in the Glass House Mountains? Um, you can see what else you can do here. We can say, learn and create. What are the top news stories today? Where's the best place to hike in LA? Write a poem about cats. Capture, take a photo, take a video, stop recording. Stay connected, such as call Lauren, send a message to Chris, send a photo to Anna. You can control media, play, next song, volume up, and then more, like what time is it or how much battery is left. So the Meta AI Assistant is extremely powerful and you can um, you know, talk to it, you can ask it any question and it can help you out with it. So we'll go ahead, you, can, you have the option to skip this if you do not want the Hey Meta and the hands-free section to work. Um, you can just go ahead and hit the skip if you don't want that, or you can hit continue to move forward with it. So we'll press continue and it's gonna ask your permission to turn on voice controls. So use your voice to find answers to questions, take photos and videos, call and message and more. And then it has several options right here to let us know what it does when you do that. So we'll go ahead and enable voice controls for now. It's really neat. It lets you know some of Meta's AI limitations. And then it also lets you know how your data will be processed when you say these things. So we'll go ahead, press this enable voice controls. And then next up, it's going to say, do you want to store your voice recordings to improve voice controls? So you can do this to help out with things like Meta AI. Um, if you want it to be improved, you can store your voice control content. It can let you know how data is being used. So reviewers will review these recordings when they um, process different commands and see how well the Meta AI responded to what you actually asked. And then you're in control of your data. So you have the option to store voice control, voice recordings, or you can say don't store voice recordings. I'll go ahead and store them on this device. And then next up is Ray-Ban Meta, get more from your glasses. You can use Discover Spotify Tap. If you have Spotify streaming service, then you can tap on this and instantly play your Spotify with a, um, a tap. Or all you have to do is just tap and hold the touchpad for two seconds to play a recommendation based off your listening taste. So really cool feature built in right here. And if you have Spotify, I highly recommend turning this on. It uses its recommendation engine here. Um, you just press and hold and turn on Spotify tap and it will play a song based off what you um, what it thinks you like the most based off your listening history. So I'm going to hit not now for now, but if you want to turn that on, you can. It's a really cool feature. Next up is call and message hands-free. Connect WhatsApp, Messenger, your phone contacts, and call and message with your glasses. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the phone. We'll just press this button right here. Glasses are on, glasses are open, Bluetooth is on, and glasses have been paired. So you can turn on texting. Um, it uses Bluetooth notifications in order for this to work, and then messages um, will stay on the device and not be shared with Meta ser servers. And then it wants us to follow the instructions to set up Bluetooth notifications. So in order for this to work, we'll need to go into our settings on our phone, and then we'll go to Bluetooth settings, tap the eye next to our glasses, and then tap turn on um, notifications. So in order for this to work here, we will need to go to settings, and then Bluetooth. And then I don't see the option here on these glasses, but on the other pair of glasses right here, it says show notifications. And we have the, the switch turned on just like this. So it makes it really easy for us to um, get our notifications turned on. Show notifications is not turning on for that particular glasses. So we may need to restart the phone or restart the Meta app in order for this to work properly. So we'll go ahead and hit not now for now. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today.
It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop. And of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot. So check out today's sponsor Rakuten using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. We can connect Messenger. It'll load up our Messenger contacts. Um, and then we can hit connect to our glasses just like this. And now Messenger is successfully connected just like that. You can connect WhatsApp if you have WhatsApp. Um, and then also we'll try out our phone later in this video. Next up is customize voice settings. So our voice controls are set to English. We can choose a language and voice for voice control. So they've got several voice options right here. It's selected by default on low even, and then we can play different voices and they'll play out of the glasses. And then you can select which voice you like the best and which language you want. All right, so once you select a language and a voice, you can go ahead and hit save in the top right. I'll keep mine the same for now on, and we'll move on and hit continue. So now it wants us to share additional data to improve meta products. It lets us know how this data is being used and that we're in control. So I'll go ahead and hit don't share additional data for now, and we are ready to capture. So be safe, respect others, respect people's privacy. You can ask, is it okay to capture here? Or people around you aware if you're unsure just ask let the LED light shine show others that the capture LED is on when you're recording so you won't surprise them and stay safe do not use features that could distract your attention consider turning off your glasses to stay focused so that's the entire setup process there of the meta glasses and you can see that we are ready to import the two pieces of media that we recorded during the setup process and there's a big import button right here on the very top of the screen. You can see your battery life of the glasses in the top left. You can see notifications. You can see when it's time to import footage. And then on the left here, they've got home where you can learn and explore how to use your glasses. They've got the media section where you can see all the content that you've taken. They've got the meta AI where you can, we'll dive into this, where you can see requests and transcripts that you've talked about to the meta AI. And then they've got the settings option right here. So first let's learn how to import the content that we took during the setup process. All you have to do is just press this import button right here and it will join the Wi-Fi to import media. It'll search for the glasses Wi-Fi and it will ask you to join. You'll press the join button and it will automatically connect to the glasses Wi-Fi on board and then start importing the content right away. Um, so you can see that it's connecting, it's searching for glasses Wi-Fi, and um, sometimes you may need to um, reconnect your glasses or restart the app, um, and then it'll be able to successfully connect. We can tap on it and see what the status of it is, and it says that it can't complete import. So if it can't complete import, I recommend swiping up and then exiting the application, and then going over to the application one more time, tapping on Meta View and relaunching for the very first time, gives it a fresh restart there, pressing import, it'll pop up again with the um, request to join, you press the join button, and usually by the second time of, of doing this, we'll be successfully onboarded and it will search for the glasses Wi-Fi and we'll be good to go. Um, so there we go. It's now successfully importing. You can see the progress bar at the very top. We can come over to our section over here to the media, the second tab, and you can see that it is importing. It's got a little circle completion in the top right where we can see the video that we took during the importing and the um, setup process. We can see the photo that we took and now it's importing and two pieces of media have been successfully imported. So anytime you capture content by pressing the trigger button on the um, right arm and you take a photo or you hold it down to take a video, it'll let you know that you can import that content and then you can just tap on it in the viewfinder and we can see, we can zoom in, we can see the table and the, uh, the phone, the glasses, um, the camera and everything here, right here in the office. So really cool photo taken right here, um, you know, first person point of view with the meta glasses right here on our device. We can see all the other types of content that you can take. Um, so we've got one right here. Um, you can see that this is of the light and the various different rooms. 
and they make this very fun and very easy to share. All you have to do is just press one of the share options at the very bottom. You can see that you've got a share sheet, you've got Instagram stories, you've got Facebook stories, WhatsApp, Messenger, and Instagram Reel. So we can come over here, um, we can scroll down, and you can see some of the footage that I've taken. I love using these with my son. It's very fun to take hands-free content and uh, not have to have a camera in my face. We can come over and just watch um, a content here, right here. And the really cool part about this is when you watch it and you have your glasses connected, the audio plays right out of your glasses. Um, so you, you hear whenever you're using your phone, if you watch a video on an Instagram or you watch a YouTube video, your glasses act as Bluetooth speakers. So if I come up to Control Center and I tap on the um, Bluetooth icon here, you'll see that my glasses are, at, oops, let me tap on the Bluetooth icon one more time, you'll see my glasses are actively being used right now. So when I watch media, the audio comes out of the RB Meta right here. So the Ray-Ban Meta, um, glasses are Bluetooth speakers. They're actively connected. They're always on. And anytime you watch anything on your phone, it plays out of the speakers by default. And it's really nice and really cool. So I, I can switch this off. I can just go over to the iPhone just like that. And then it makes it really easy for me to um, take my um, you know glasses and switch the audio from the glasses to the iPhone. So just like that. And now when I play this, you can hear the audio from the... So really cool, I can hit this share to Instagram story button just like this and instantly, um, you know, have Instagram stories. We, I could share this with my following. Um, we can go over, we can draw um, and then, you know, add an A an avatar sticker so you can have fun with your Ray-Ban glasses uh, and makes it really easy to come in here and customize this and just like that just by pressing the Instagram share button I shared a piece of content that I took with my glasses so very cool um, that we have the option to do that and um, I have all of this content saved directly to my photo library so it's good to go that's backed up by iCloud and I'm good to go um, and share this content anywhere so you can share it system-wide or you can share it within the MetaView app and it makes it really handy to come in here and um, access all of your content. Next up, let's dive into Meta AI. Meta AI is really cool and all you have to do is just say, hey Meta, what is today's date? So you can tap on the question right here in the Meta AI section and see what it was. I asked it, what was tomorrow's date? And it said tomorrow's date is Wednesday, January 19th. Um, so just like that. I can scroll down. I can see um, some content that I asked earlier. For example, I asked when the Warriors play. And the Golden State Warriors play their next game against the Utah Jazz on January 17th at 6 p.m. So really cool content right here. All you have to do is just say the phrase, hey Meta, and then ask any question and it will answer it after this. So the Meta AI is a really cool feature. Um, I highly recommend checking it out when you set up your glasses for the very first time. Makes it really easy to come in here and ask it, you know, what today's date is, or, um, you know, any, if you need help with something, you can just ask it and it will let you know. And you can have a full-fledged conversation with it. And I think this is one of the best features of the glasses that you have to check out. And it's highly cool. Um, and one of my favorite features, just to ask random bits of information. It's even quicker than just Googling it. I can just say that, you know, the phrase, hey, Meta, and then say, um, you know, whatever question I have. And it will instantly use its AI and help me out with it. We can dive into some of the settings here. You can see notifications, galleries, glasses updates, early access, Wi-Fi, app info, data, and privacy and legal and safety and account. So of course, for this to work, you do need a Meta account. When you create, when you log into MetaView, you have to link that. Um, and that's required in order to access the MetaView application and store all of your photos on your phone. So Meta does not um, actually see any of the, the photos that you take. They're stored locally on your phone. They, don't, they may see if you use the AI feature, they possibly could see that because you're using their AI assistant on that photo. Um, but everything else is you know, personal and private to you. They don't go to Facebook. It doesn't go to any, anywhere else. And it makes it really simple to come over here and um, check out your content 
save all of your private content right here inside of the MetaView app and then send it and share the content that you want to um, with friends, family, and maybe on social media if you choose to. One cool thing with the Meta Glasses is that you can live stream from the camera that's on them. When you open up Instagram and you swipe over to the live mode, you'll see that on the right section is the glasses that are connected through Bluetooth. You just double press the capture button and it automatically switches to the glasses camera and makes it really easy to start live streaming from a first person point of view. So now instead of using the iPhone camera, it's using the glasses camera and I can look around you can see exactly, you know, the camera here, you can see the studio, and it's a first person point of view right here. So this is really neat and you can try this out right now. It's built right into Instagram, built right into, um, you know, the software of the Meta Glasses. And I think it's really cool. All I have to do to get back is just double tap the capture button on the glasses and it goes right back to the iPhone camera. So really cool feature that you should check out on your glasses. Want to promote your business in front of tech enthusiasts? You can sponsor AppFind to get a shout out on a video or even your own dedicated video. To learn more, see our rate card and request a sponsorship. You can click our link in the description to Passion Fruit to learn more and inquire about a sponsorship. So this has been a complete beginner's guide to the Ray-Ban Meta Smart Glasses. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button and turn on the notification bell and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. Let us know what your favorite feature was in the comments below. And we can't wait to continue making videos like this. We love producing content like this for you and can't wait to see you in the next one. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.